Hi, and welcome to another episode of Dealing TV q and I'm Mike, and I'm here with George. And we're here to take your questions and answer them. So if you point your browser to www.dealingtv.com, there's a little web form you can fill out, and we'll answer your question right here. There you go. So today we're going to talk about uh, power line networking and a little game console stuff. Um, so let's jump right in. Indeed. John from Lexington, uh, Kentucky asks, he's wondering if he can use three of the power line networking adapters, the DHP 300-301, to connect uh, two remote PCs around his house. Right. So, so this is the little power line networking guy here. Right. And the reason for the numbers is the 301 is a kit that comes with two of them in the box, and the 300 is a single unit so you can do add-ons. Because yes, indeed, you can have three. In fact, you can have up to eight of them on your network. And one of the cool features about it is it automatically acts as a repeater. And so if you have two computers that are remote, <clears throat> the one that's actually closer to your router, that adapter is going to actually help the signal getting to the, the farther one. Right. And so basically you'd plug one in next to your router and then plug in the wired connection to your, one of your wired router ports. And then the other two, once they're configured, you plug them in wherever you need them and then run the wire directly to your remote computers. Right. And they should work just beautifully. Yeah, so it shouldn't be a problem. These these are a great solution for people that have like older homes with the lath and plaster and the chicken right. wire and all that stuff up there. If the wireless doesn't work that well, look into the power line. Yeah, it's a nice complementary solution to wireless because there are going to be times when wireless just simply doesn't reach where you need it to go. Right. And so these ones are an alternative way to do that using the wiring that's already in your house. So you don't have to drill holes in the wall, which is really messy and takes you in trouble. <laughs> right. <laughs> so so yes, you can use a third one. You can use up to eight. Uh, so, Linda in Crofton, Maryland asks, she's trying to connect her Xbox 360, which is downstairs, to her wireless network, which is on the first floor. Uh, but the Xbox can't see the wireless router. What can she do? First of all, make sure that your Xbox is one of them that came with wireless, because not all of them did. You need a, well, you need a little wireless adapter, a little right. tiny gizmo. If, okay. if you don't have that, you need to go buy I one. I think the Ultimate End or whatever, the high-end one, came with that, but a lot of them right. didn't. Is that how it works? Yeah, so if you have like a core right. system, you have to, you know. Okay. And so they all have a wired port. And so if you don't have the wireless, you can do a couple different things. One would be you could buy the... 360 wireless adapter. Which is 802.11G, right. by the way. Or you could go and buy something like the D-Link Gaming Adapter, which is right here, the DGL3420, yep. which was originally designed for the original Xbox, so it works really cleanly with it. And this pl has a wired port on the back, so it plugs directly into the wired port on the back of your Xbox, and then joins up with your wireless router. Or you could do something like the power line, yep. which we just That's mentioned in the previous solution. question. And so again, you've got a wired port that then instead of using wireless to get up to your router, goes through your power line to get to another one of these up by your router. Right. Just to, going off of her Xbox 360 being downstairs and the router being on the first floor, where it's probably that her Xbox 360 is in a basement, right. So which can lead to other difficulties um, with you know just the extra stuff. Yeah, depending on how the house is built and where the, the router is, it may the wireless signal may have to try to make it through concrete, dirt, all sorts of things to get from wherever it is up on the first floor down into the basement. Right. And wireless sometimes has a hard time with that. So. Well, the other thing is, is that you know, if her if her router is sitting like this, the wireless signal does not come out as as a sphere, so yeah. it may not be going downstairs. She may need to do something like that. Yeah, aim and, your antenna a little bit. And because yeah. it comes out more like a a disc shape, you know, thing. It's kind of fat in the middle and skinny. At the end. It's like a spaceship. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like a spaceship. Uh, so uh, those are some solutions for you. Um, yep. So we're going to talk, Tad in Louisville, Kentucky asks, what routers are compatible with the Nintendo Wii? There you go. And so we've done a little research online, and there are a lot of people reporting excellent results with the gaming router, because it was specifically designed for gaming. It was one of the first, on, if not the first, on the market. Yep. It was specifically targeted at the gaming audience. It has all gigabit ports on it. It's got built-in uh, QoS features to handle gaming very efficiently. And it's been out there. It's been a great seller for us for many years, and it's cool and black and all that kind of thing. Yes, so it and looks so good, too. DGL4300. Yep. There's also the wired version is the DGL4100, yep. which doesn't have wireless. And as you'll notice, it's a nice companion with the gaming adapter if you're doing that sort of approach. But the technology in the gaming router was carried forward into the DIR655, which is the white one. The storm one of the reasons one we why we here. like that one a lot. And so... Basically, it took a lot of the base technology from the gaming router with all the really slick QoS capabilities and the gigabit ports and brought it forward into 802.11 Draft N. Right. And so since it's newer, it doesn't have as many happy reports out there as the gaming router does. 
but it, either it one will. of them should be a. It's a getting them. For it's you. getting them now. Right. Um, but this one also has the drop down list of games, so you know, right. you, it it both of them will work well for you. And so you should be happy with either one you get. And good luck and happy gaming. Absolutely. So that's going to take it. Uh, take care of it for this episode of D-Link TV Q&A. If you have a question, go ahead and point your browser to www.dlinktv.com. Fill out the little web form, and we'll answer your question right here. And thank you for watching. Thank you.